Hi. Today I'm going to talk about using JE Plus on networked computers. Nowadays, in any office or household, there may be computers lying around doing nothing. If you can use all of them to run simulations, you can get your jobs done much quicker. With JE Plus, you can do exactly that. This chart illustrates the concept of how this works. Consider you have uh, access to a number of computers, which are all connected to the network. Well, you can pick your favorite one uh, and use it as a as the job server. Okay, whereas the others uh, as the execution nodes. You use J plus as you as usual to create your project and prepare simulation jobs. Once you have a uh, once you are ready to start those jobs, instead of using the local simulation controller, you can use the job server agent, which will create all the jobs, but not running any of them. Instead, it will hold uh, the jobs there in the server, and wait for execution nodes to to run them. On another computer, you can start JE Plus using a different command. So it enters the execution node mode. It will then contact the server and retrieve a job, run the simulations, and send back results. There are very little configuration uh, is, is required to set up the whole system. This is uh, the advantage of a uh, of this approach. So now let's work through this process. The first thing you will need is an extended version of JE Plus, which I call it JE Plus Net. By the time you're watching this tutorial, it should have been released, but if not, it will be very soon. Inside the package, you will find a number of batch files. Okay, these are Windows commands that work, uh, that work equally well on, on Linux. These commands allows you to uh, run J plus in different modes. You can use run gui.bat to start uh, the user interface. Okay, this is the normal JE Plus user interface. I have, a, I have packed a example folder in this, uh, in this package, so you can load the project here. We can validate the project to see if everything is okay. There are 420 jobs in this project. If you go to the execution tab, local batch simulation controller is the default controller uh, that J plus use. But in this version, you have an extra option called Agent Job Server. If you pick this option, then the settings change. Um, there isn't anything you uh, you need to adjust in those, uh, in those settings. Uh, let's try use this agent and run some jobs. Say we want to run a random sample of uh, 40 jobs. Okay. And then we start simulation. As you can see here, agent job server has started 40 job to execute and it's now waiting for nodes to register. Now we need to go start a few 
execution nodes. The execution nodes uses exactly the same J plus package. However, we need to do a couple of things before copying this folder to another computer. Firstly, we need to find out the IP address of this computer so the execution node can find the server. To find out your IP address, let's bring up a command, command window. The command you, you want to use to find out IP address is called IP config. Press enter here. It will list all the network interfaces uh, your computer has. For home network, most often you are on uh, 192.168.1. something. So this is the, the IP, IP address we are going to use. Okay. Now we go to go to the folder and add it. Um, run node dot bat. You can see here. At the moment, the node is pointing to localhost which means this computer. Imagine this program will be run on another computer and you want it to, to find uh, the computer we are using now. So we put the IP address of, uh, of, the, of this computer here. So it be 192.168.1.65. You don't need to change anything else. Okay, just save it and close it. Now we have set up uh, the IP address of the server. Uh, the second thing you need to do is uh, if the other computer you want to use does not have Energy Plus installed already, you can include it in this folder, like it here. I have already made a copy of Energy Plus in this folder. You will probably, however, uh, need to edit uh, jplus.cfg file. So it points to the correct Energy Plus executables. So let's have a look what's in there. This is the content of uh, jplus.cfg. Um, you can see those lines are the, address, uh, are the location of, uh, of Energy Plus executables. In this case, that's the rate of RCSO, and that's the main executable. Um, make sure you're using a relative path. Okay. Now we are ready to copy this folder uh, to the other computer. Of course, you can copy the files over using a USB uh, memory stick. Uh, but I will use a tool called TeamViewer, which is a remote desktop uh, utility, which is uh, very convenient for this purpose. Now connecting to the computer um, uh, I want to use. Okay. So here it shows the desktop of uh, of the other computer, right? With this tool, you can actually copy files. So you use file transfer and find the folder you want to send it over and the location where it should be stored just send okay the file should be there now 
Yes, that's our directory. Okay, now if you run this command, just run node bat, it will start uh, it will start a node and start pulling uh, jobs from our server. Let's try that. Okay, it has a little user interface which you can monitor what's going on uh, with this nose so my laptop has uh, two uh, two processor cores um, so it started two execution nodes as you can see it's already uh, got a job uh, this node has already got a job from the server so it's that node. After simulation finish, you will send uh, send the results over the server. If you look at the server, there isn't anything to see. Oh no, how? Um, yes, there are two jobs finished. Right. The execution node will keep pulling jobs until all the jobs. Been uh, simulated. Now it has got quite a few jobs done. Um, now, if you click on this button, show server monitor, you can see uh, the execution nodes that uh, that uh, uh, have logged on and executing these jobs. Right. It tells you there are two execution nodes and node 1 has uh, finished 18 jobs, node 2 18 and uh, this is the job is they are currently working on. Right. If you want to see how many jobs left, use this button. There are still two jobs remaining. 37 finished and then one job failed for some reason. Okay. Now the simulation has, uh, has all finished. Since there was one job uh, failed, it didn't uh, manage to collect all the results. And it tells you how much time in total uh, used to run this uh, run all the simulations. So this is how you use J Plus on network computers. Thank you very much for watching.